So a while back, I made a video on the custom projectiles mod, wherein you could set any tower to shoot any projectile. Simply all I have to do is type the tower name and the upgrade you want, and for example, if we do a laser cannon, you will see that this uh, boomerang now shoots out lasers. So this time we're back for a part two, and we're just gonna cover some projectiles that maybe I haven't done, and combinations that were also not done. And I think I like the rule set for what I did in the first video, in that the rule is uh, I can only have one attacking tower down at all times with the support of a camo thing, whether it be a decamo sub or village. I'm just gonna do both of this one because sometimes camo projectiles might be a little bit finicky, so uh, yeah. And so any tower combination I get, I can only use for 10 rounds at a time, and I cannot use that tower or projectile for the rest of the game, and uh, we'll see how long we survive. I think knowing how some projectiles did last time, I'm hoping we'll do a little bit better. I think we got to like 140, 150 last time. So let's start with a sharpshooter, I guess, shall we? As for projectile, I'm gonna go with the hero one. How about we try a level 20 hero in Gwendolyn? So here we go, and if it goes the way I expect it to, uh, it should be... Okay, that does not do a lot of damage at all. Guys, I think I might have overestimated the power of Gwendolyn 20, because she shoots really fast and two bolts at a time, whereas this thing shoots way too slowly, so uh, that's not a good start. Of all the projectiles, we choose that one. Okay, next attack. We'll do a triple shot, because triple them up uh, my projectiles. And how about a balloon solver? Cross pathing matters. Five to two makes it stronger. This should definitely beat everything, right? Yeah, for sure. It doesn't shoot as fast as a solver, I don't think, but... I mean, we already know a solver beats these next 10 rounds here, so... Yeah, pretty safe choice I picked here, I'll admit. Oh, I also forgot to mention we're skipping forward a couple rounds, just because, well, the early game might be a little bit too... not too interesting with weak towers and weak projectiles, so we need uh, stronger balloons to beef it up. I know it's probably a bit early to use up such a good tier 5 projectile that early, but... I think it's fine. Again, there's so many options to choose from, so... Uh, I'll be okay. What do we want next? Well, we had three projectiles last time. How about we go to four with quad darts and uh, what projectile? Uh, I remember I went for biggest one last time. It did it really well. So uh, why not we go for a downgrade, a Bernie stuff big one. Now we should have five damage explosions or rather 20 since there's four of them. And yeah, that might be a bit too good, but whatever. It's fun. Actually, the mob damage isn't really that good. See, FM is taking still a wild pop, but yeah, rounds like 63 should just be wiped off the map with just even just one quad dart hitting, as you see right here. So I've seen the comments on the last one, and I know some popular choices people wanted me to try out for projectiles was like maybe Expertise Village. However, I have some bad news. I did do some testing prior to this, and it turns out you don't. It doesn't work. It completely crossed crossed my mind that time that if. 200 damage which I thought probably would be pretty good, but yeah, unfortunately, that one doesn't work. But luckily, again, there's still some options I didn't try last time that I will probably pull out for near the end of this one. Now, for our next tower, how about we try a Bads? I don't know how this tower works exactly, but I feel like, based on what I remember, it only changes the projectiles of one level of the tower itself. So the other three will just be shooting Bads bullets, but... That should still be fine. So how about for this one we try a crossbow master. 205 so that the bolts have more pierce and uh, let's see how it goes. And as you see, I think I was right. There's just a bunch of normal bullets and then the dart monkey's bullets is the uh, snow. That's the projectile, have, the projectile thing I bought from the trophy store. Now because it only works for one of the four, I hope I picked a strong enough projectile. Because yeah, I don't think a normal 024 would be able to survive. The 70s on its own. So watching carefully, I guess. I think the... Uh, it's the top layer, I think, that has the crossbow, which is good. I believe that one targets first, which is probably what you want. I say that because I ideally just want to beat this leaving it on independence. So uh, each of them have a first, close, last strong targeting. And luckily, I believe we'll come out of round 80 very much healthy and alive. So good. I think next up, I want to try a Jitsu Ninja. And I don't think I tried this last time. But how about we do a recursive bomb shooter? So that'd be a 204. I'm gonna be shooting five recursive shots at once, with it being faster speed than a normal bomb. So I feel like damage should be pretty good, right? Yeah, okay, maybe a little bit too good. Perhaps I should just save this for the 90s or maybe the hundreds to 110s. Actually, nah, the fortified storm's taking a while to take down. This might have been a fine time to use it. So that's okay. 
Yeah, remember that the uh, recursive clusters don't have extra mob damage, so ZMD is still take a while to pop, even though you're shooting a lot of brick tunnels out. And one thing I think it's a, that's important to reiterate is that some towers I cannot get the real brick tunnel of. Like, for example, say Comanche Commander. I can't really get the mini explosions from the uh, Comanche planes because it's counted, the projectiles counted as whatever the base tower is. So that would be, well, the dart from the heli pilot. Same thing with the druid. It would just be the thorn attack if I went for a ball lightning or superstorm. It wouldn't shoot that out. Just as a disclaimer, something I think I needed to clarify. Just in case people ever wanted me to try something out that I can't try. Now, I think that from this point on, we have to start trying some strong projectiles and fast shooting towers with lots of projectiles. So, how about, um, Patchy Prime shoots pretty fast. I don't know if it replaces the darts, though, or the missiles. Because, obviously, one shoots faster than the other, but we'll see. I have no idea what's going to happen if I try this, but I think this will shoot up the, uh, not the meteor, but just the 8 damage ring attack. Let me just... Uh, I don't think it's working at all, actually. Yeah, okay, quickly before I die, let's change this to uh, Balloon Cineration. I'm dead. Balloon Cine, actually? Yeah. Too late. But Balloon Cine actually might work. Is that something I want to use now, though? Sure, why not? Well, make sure to choose your pop because it is stronger, and let's play. So it's hard to tell, but I I'm seeing darts, missiles, and uh, that. So, uh, sorry, is there a third projectile I'm missing? Oh, I do remember there's Razor Rotor, so it could be that. It makes sense, given how fast it's shooting. That looks like about how fast Razor Rotors would take. Also, I think I definitely went with too good a projectile. Because remember this, like, one Balloon Sin does, like, 100 damage. Probably something I could have saved for uh, maybe 20 rounds from now, but whatever. Again, I still got some options. Okay, it's actually not that OP that it's killing everything, like, the moment it comes in. But it's pretty solid. DTs, of course, do a bit of damage. That is until they get defortified. And now for run 100... Should be important to mention that the uh, fire doesn't stack DOT. So that's why it's taking a while to kill that bad, but... Alright, GG. Okay, so good news is I know there's no bads from 101 to 110, so I think I can get away with this. Let's do a balloon crush. So we'll do 502 in case we end up getting frags from it, and uh, let's get it. We should be stunning everything at the entrance, you see? Beautiful. And I even saved the elite defender, because I, I really don't need that much attack speed. Or do I actually? Or do I actually? Uh, DDs are only getting that far because there's no camo on it, so don't worry, don't be alarmed. We still have pretty much no chance of losing, I think. To be honest, I probably could have saved this for the other uh, uh, ten rounds. I don't have a bad like. I think it's 121 to 130. That probably could have been a good use for it, but that's okay. Also, thank goodness for the fast forward mod. Otherwise, we need to be waiting probably ten minutes to beat this round because of that 12 damage, I think on the bomb shooter and the frags don't do any damage to the target hitting which is why it's still taking so long but honestly hypersonic balloon crush is some fun stuff and now what's fun that also beats the bat on 119 okay hear me out how about an overdrive 204 and a spike factory however not a super mines at least not yet but we'll do the downgrade of it spike mines saw a lot of people saying this might be interesting and I don't know if it's enough mult damage, but it shoots so much. Well, it has to be in range first, but... Yeah. How is that DPS for ya? In case you forget, there's also a DPS counter over in the top right, which is doing 44,000 at most. The only problem is that I, I can't target it, so hopefully those SRAMs don't kill me good. Oh no, it, ke it keeps chasing though. Or is it going upwards? Yeah, we're leaking. No. This won't end up working. Well, this will beat the round, but... Only one round? No. I can't take this. Yeah, for what I'm seeing here, it targets first, which is why it kept slowly going upward. So maybe if we just don't get a massive zoom G round, we'll be okay. I don't think it'll beat the bat, though, which will be unfortunate. Yeah, could you imagine if the tier 4 of both the Spike Factory and Tech is doing this well? Imagine the tier 5. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, this round might be a problem, though. ZMG is upon FDDTs. No. First time we've lost. With the tower so far. Alright then, let's start with follow. I don't think I did this comp before, but if I did, then forgive me. But I know I have done these towers separately. A Dark Paragon with Sun Avatar. Uh, hang on a second. It seems to have not worked. Dark Monkey Paragon. Is not shooting Dark Monkey Paragon uh, balls. Weird. Let me just check if it's a bug or something. No, okay. Tax Shooter seems to work. For some reason, the Sun Avatar doesn't. Okay, let me just try an uncross path. Plants of last line. Does that work? 
Okay, yeah, it does. Remember, this is a degree one fall, but it's still good enough. And hopefully it didn't blow it blow too early, but yeah. Good thing I guess we didn't win with Sun Avatar. Otherwise, I would have lost that. Pretty important to have that around considering it shoots three projectiles at the same speed as Plasma, so imagine that. Yeah, this is just breeze through the allotted 10 rounds, I think. So, uh, the next 10 do not have a bad. So, if there's ever time to use a picture thought that's good against balloons but not Moabs, now is my last chance. Oh yeah, biggest one, right. So, how about we try a Flying Fortress? I wonder what projectile it replaces. Reminder, we want 5 zero two for the Bernie damage, and let's go. It seems to be not working, which is very sad. Well, I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with trying attack again. How about we just do... Uh, 203. So we're gonna downgrade the attack. I mean, good attack speed and still 12 projectiles. I can see this working. Although, not if it's clumped. Actually, no, it's handling it so far. It's just that, again, DTs need to get DCAM up here because the village isn't giving it. But I think we picked well. Yeah, the extra stun effect they added to the base one is definitely helping as well. Although, I kind of hate the fact that they're all happening at once, so we only really get. Like, they're still moving. Like, if they were staggered, for example, which obviously I know it wouldn't, but. If it did, theoretically, then we could basically premise stun it also. Hang on, DTs are sneaking through. And it might just be because of the uh, deep camo. Again, I said, or I did this last time, but I'll just do reactor. Might do a bit of damage, but it deep camos it instantly, which is nice to have. Okay, 130. I think it's time to get rid of you, and uh, we gotta go for, again, good stuff. So, uh, I don't know if this is good enough, but let's try Operation Dart Storm, and let's try something I did not try last time. So, did you know you could also pick the Sentry Paragon sub-Sentry? So, I can do the Red Sentry. I don't know which one's weakest, but let me just play, and you see that's what we get. Unfortunately, the tower itself is so bad that that's not going to work. Okay, I didn't try Grand Master yet, did I? Let's do it again. I still think it's far too weak, I guess. Yeah, it, I guess the mini sentry shoots so fast that that's not really that good of a projectile. Uh, how about green then? Let's go. No projectile. Right, it's the plasma accelerator kind of attack, so I don't think it works. Well, I guess our last shot is blue. Otherwise, uh, there is no working. And okay, that's good. Right, the blue one is the one that has the quote-unquote mad missile thingy, so that does... A lot of extra mob damage. In fact, it, it might be the exact same as Madden that it can't beat ceramics. Because that doesn't look very uh, good against cerams. Taking multiple shots, but I'll, I'll still take it. Because I think it can beat 140 minus the insides. So here we go. Let's see how much damage you do in. 30,000? Alright, not too shabby. And it's not a big deal if it doesn't do that much that much uh, mob balloon damage. Because there's still a lot of track length. So yeah, needless to say, we are chilling, and uh, honestly, I probably could even save this bullet for later, to be honest. Again, still looking way better than last time. We still have Supermind saved, Ace Paragon, Ninja Paragon, and maybe a couple others that I'm forgetting. So beat this next round, and uh, it's time to replace. Okay, so what other I'm missing, or what other uh, tower that shoots a lot? I guess we need to try Sun Avatar again. It might have been cross padding that rude things. So let me just leave it at 3 0, zero. Now, I actually kind of wanted to use this a lot earlier, but I forgot. This might be too late, but let's just see how Captain Churchill's projectiles do, okay? I have a feeling it will do... Uh... Oh, wait, that's actually pretty good. What? Well, not good because it doesn't damage DDTs, right? Yeah. We need the ability for it to damage DDTs. Oh, actually, we have a mid. Why is it not working? Yeah, that's really strange. I, I wonder... I guess it's... I don't know. It doesn't inherit any of the, any of the properties of the village, like... Including camo and mib, because I feel like given how fast kill those PFP is, it would do well against them. Okay, this might be a bit cheesy, but let me go ahead and experiment with some D lead options. So Sir Brittle and Glue Storm. I just want to see if we actually damage them when they are D leaded. Um, okay, maybe it's just not enough damage. Well, fair enough. Let's try the following then. Still Sun Avatar, but how about it? I think we can pick the Whistler Phoenix. Don't know how good that is this late in the game, but let's see. Um, that's not much better than Churchill. It's actually not terrible, so I feel like with a better tower... Um, there's a chance, but do I want to? Well, last time with Sun Avatar, Monkey Ace Paragon. If not, then I need to try something else, but... Right. Monkey Ace Paragon is very, very, very good. In fact, I would say it's the second strongest, so should I really have used that right now? I mean, sure. I think at this point you guys know what the best projectile is before this one, but I'll mention it later. 
I think this is the one I ended off with in the first attempt with the Sky Shredder, but I guess Sun Avatar is better because it shoots a lot faster in three at a time, as opposed to, I don't know, the slower attack speed of Sky Shredder. Yeah, it looks like it's going to easily breeze through the allotted 10 rounds I was given. Actually, oops, I went 11 rounds, whatever. We'll just play this one out. So before I go ahead and commit to my very final uh, combination that I had in mind from the start, let's try this one. A Dart Monkey. Zero, zero, zero. Surely, it should be enough. I can't tell why it's not doing any damage, but yeah. Very strange. I think my game might be bugged or something. Well, I think we only have one choice, boys. It is time to unleash it. So, Attack Zone and uh, Spike Factory. And this, friends, will be a 5-0-2. And uh, play the round. And let's see the Carnage, guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if there was something I could have done early in this, definitely would have. Because this not only beats 159 and 169, probably even further, so... I guess we'll go ahead and see how long this lasts. Pretty much pairing the best tower with projectiles and attack speed with the best, strongest projectile. So it's no surprise we're just one-shotting FZMGs. It's basically putting a stack of 32 Street Minds at once at hypersonic speed. So let's wondering the science behind why it's one-shotting. So officially, I say we'll have made it to 168 in this challenge. So about 20 rounds higher than first attempts. And also, wait, 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 what? 168? Maybe it might just be fast forward that killed me there, but... Let me try that again. Also, projectiles reset when uh, I reset around, so hopefully... Should be okay now. Yeah, that might have just been a fast forward thing, because 168 here is very easy this time around. Yeah. So, how far this last, you think? Given how quickly it's still killing Novavads, well... I would guesstimate well past 200, but... I would assume uh, some random race rounds to kill us. Alright guys, let's see how quickly these F-Bats die. I'm seeing 300k DPS, that's single target by the way. And honestly, that stack right there alone should probably kill the second bat, right? Yeah. Boy, we could probably make it... I don't know, maybe even 300? The amount of rounds in this challenge editor game here. Well, I'll see you guys half an hour against because the lag is, uh, yeah, not treating me very well. Each round is taken quite a while since the game's running like... What, 5 FPS? But yeah, see you in half an hour. Or until this thing struggles at all. Okay, another update. As you can tell, the lag is so bad that I don't think I can continue this run even more. It just gets worse and worse and worse the harder rounds get. And then that thing just keeps shooting at hypersonic speeds. So allow me to just skip ahead to round 300 in Sabbox to see, uh, well, for ourselves. Instead of needing to wait 10 hours. Well, I don't even think I can get through this round. And not because I can't beat it. Because you see, we're popping f bat still super early. It's just that, again, we're down to less than 1 FPS. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and say, based on the damage we're doing here, we're gonna beat round 300. Round 400, though, there's there's no way, right? By the way, Taxon Zero Minds is doing, I think, 2 million DPS. Food for thought. And I think we finally found a round of my die too, because that, that is getting really far, and that's not even fortified, so... Yeah, that might be GG, I think. But don't forget, Zero Minds has extra fortified damage, so... It's actually looking like we might pop that. Up to 4 million DPS now. Absolutely insane. 5 million. 5.6.7. 8? <laughs> no. Guys, this is not even buffed either. Imagine if I max buff this thing. My PC would melt. So you guys aren't going to see that. And uh, yeah, I think we lost lives there finally. If not that, then de definitely DT's here. But yeah. Those are the limits definitely like near high 300 something like that. So based on what we saw, there's a, there's like one S plus plus tier projectile, and then one S tier projectile in the uh, monkey ace paragon. Speaking of which, let me just curiously see. Does it hold a candle at all to supervines? Not quite. It does do pretty well though. Nearly a million DPS, but yeah, supervine just blows it out of the water, as does everything else. So that's it. Subscribe for more, and see ya.